guys welcome back to my channel i am back today with another video but before i get started on all the details guys please make sure to hit that subscribe button also if you are subscribed please make sure to turn those notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my videos today's unit is going to be brought to you by the company rpg show you guys know i have worked with them plenty of times they are one of my favorite companies and i will be showing you guys a lace wig yes a lace wig i know y'all been seeing me do a lot of headband wigs but i am back with the lace. This one is a bob unit and what's unique about this bob unit is that it came with a set of clip-ins that you can put highlights in your hair and I thought that was pretty cool because sometimes you really don't want to have to dye your wig but you kind of want to see what it looks like if you were to put some highlights in it and they made that happen for you. So this is the bag that it comes in and just gonna show you some of the goodies that came in the box. And then this is a set of the clip-ins. Some edge tamer, wig cap. Actually, I don't think that is a wig cap. Let me see what that is. Oh, it is a wig cap. And then an the extra wig cap. So I got two wig caps. And then let's see what this unit is looking like. All right, so I still have it wrapped up. I haven't looked at it. And this one already seems to have the clip-ins in it. So that's the pair that they already put in. Now the clip-in colors are sparkling amber and then plum. Also offer other color options that you can choose on the website. This is a yakky texture. You guys know that's my favorite texture from the company. So you get two combs on the side, a comb in the middle, your adjustable straps, and they also have this elastic band. This one is a lace front wig, so you do get your six inches of parting space. And then this is what the parting space area is looking like. You guys know that their parting space area looks bomb. And of course you get a nice pre-pucked hairline. Do offer this in silky but y'all know how I feel about the yakki, so I'm gonna always say, get the yakki, get the yakki, okay? Try this on without adjusting the straps and everything, just to kind of see what it is looking like. All right. This is a cap size one, which is my cap size. Fits me really good. All right, let me get it close. So you guys can see the hairline. Hairline looking natural. So that's the hairline before I cut it. You know, you get that nice transparent tinted lace. So it's already going to blend in. That is the parting space area. This hair keeps catching on my lip gloss. And let me see. Parting space is on point. I'm trying not to hit those clipping ends <laughs> because they did clip in the blonde pieces and I keep hitting them. So let me see if I can show y'all what the clipping in parts look like. Okay, so this is the clip ins. And if you don't like the clip ins, you can remove them but this is what they look like. And they're gonna be very easy to remove. I'm gonna flat iron this and show you guys what this looks like. And then I will put the other ones on. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Now the clip-ins are not a yakky texture, but honestly they blend in. Like you can't even really tell. Like they blend in really good. So I just need to flat iron them. But the cut on this, I can already tell the cut is gonna be nice. I'm gonna keep this in a middle part. But yeah, the clip-ins look the same on the other side. I actually like this blonde and then, or this is sparkling amber, I believe. And then this one is the plum. So I'm gonna hold up the plum. The plum is cute too, but I'm feeling this one a little bit more but I'm still going to play around with this just to show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and straighten this out, cut the lace off, 
lay and melt this down and then I will be back to show you guys the final results and then I will switch over to the other set of clip-ins. So I had to take the unit off to readjust it and then I'm just going to place it back on. I needed to tighten the straps up so it could fit me better. And I'm just gonna make sure that everything is in place. Now, before I work on cutting off the lace, I am going to take my wax and I'm going to go around the hairline and then I'm going to put some at the top by the parting space. And this is just going to help me kind of lay the hairs down early because I am gonna end up using my hot comb to go ahead and press everything out. So I'm gonna work on cutting off this lace and the lace is very easy for me to cut off. It's that Swiss, nice, transparent lace. It's going to melt in really well to your skin. You're really not going to have to do too much when it comes to this lace, but you wanna be really careful and not rough with it so that you don't have to worry about tearing it. You can wear this unit glueless, but for today, I am using my Got To Be High Insta Hole Spray, just because I do know that I want to wear this for a little bit, so I wanna go ahead and melt this down. So I'm spraying that on my skin and then using the blow dryer to kind of dry down a little bit. I'm gonna spray a little bit more at the very front of the hairline where the parting space is, and then I am going to take the blow dryer and just dry it down a little bit more. Now, I am blow drying this on cool just because when I blow dry it on heat, it does affect my contacts a little bit and it starts to dry it out and then I have to blink a lot. So that just kind of helps me out a little bit more. Now I'm going to be using my Kendra's Boutique hot comb to press this unit down, make it as flat as possible. Now I will say, because they already added the clip, on, clip ends on, I just felt like they were a little bit bulky and they were in the way when it was time for me to press out everything. So I would suggest pressing everything out first and then adding your clip-ins on after. That way you don't have to worry about like a little slight dent. Now I'm just going to take my Kaposi flat iron and go ahead and work on flat ironing this unit out. And as you guys can see, the color did start to blend in well with the wig. And at first I thought it was gonna be a little bit too silky, but once I press it out, it just all kind of blended in together. After I am done straightening the unit, I'm gonna go in with my powder. I'm going to put some into the parting space and just a little bit around the hairline. Um, the parting space, of course, I wanted it to look a little bit more open and natural. And then the hairline, I want to just kind of lighten it up a little bit because it did seem to be a little bit darker once I added my spray on. And then I am going to take my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum and run that throughout the hair. And this is going to help keep it nice and sleek and also protect against any type of frizziness and flyaways. So this is the Sparkling Amber Highlights, and guys, it came out really cute. I like the way that it looks, and it just flows well together. And the cut on this unit is already nice, but I am going to remove these because I wanna show you guys what it would look like if you do not wear the clip ends, and then, of course, I am going to move on to the plum color. I'm gonna run my hot comb through the top once again, just to kind of make sure that it gets even more flatter, just because I could not do this really good with the clip ends on. But as you guys can see, it gets very flat. As you guys can see, even without the clip ends, this unit is bomb. And you guys know I love their yakky texture. It's my favorite because it looks so light and natural and just so pretty. And then the cut just sets it off. Now I'm putting the clip ends in the same area that the amber clip ends were in. Now with the clip ends, you do not want to put them up too high. If you put them up too high, you are gonna notice some bulkiness because of the wefts. And that is really my only con when it comes to the clip ends is you can definitely feel it, they're not super flat. 
So the key is to make sure you put them in the right place so that the hair can cover it up enough to where it's still gonna look natural and not look humpy. Two sets of clip-ins were definitely enough. I don't see why you would need any more. Just because you wanna go for the highlighted look, you don't wanna go and do anything too drastic. Now, I ended up liking these plum clip-ins just a little bit more because I felt like it was just muted down a little bit more and I don't know, like it was like peekaboo. <laughs> It wasn't as bold and loud as the amber ones, but I like both of them, but I just ended up liking the plum ones just a little bit more. I love the way that the plum blended in. It just looks really, really good. I thought the amber ones would be my favorite, but I like these just a little bit more. I don't know, they both were nice. I think this is a great switch up if you wanted to have a little bit of color in your life. But like I said, you don't want to color your unit but you just wanna play around a little bit. I think this is nice. And you can always take these out and just rock the unit as is, and it still looks good as is. So let me know which color you are feeling. Were you feeling the plum? Were you feeling the amber? Or were you feeling it in its natural state? Guys, if you are feeling this, I'm gonna make sure to leave all the links down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel once again, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Time out.